mate, today is a big day. A big day. Because I've just got my logbook through the post. And I've got my retention document as well. So you know what that means? I put these on. Right, so let me just explain to you what they mean real quick as well. Um, Cause obviously it's DG, O2, S and R. So let me explain what that means. To start off with, we've got DG, which are my, my initials, Daniel Griffith. O2, because I am my mum's second son. And S and R stands for senior. So when I have kids, I'm gonna be the big senior. Okay. Right, I think I've sorted the lighting out so you can see the car and see my face at the same time. Cause the sun is literally pointing over there. So it's like I'm in the shadow. But I'd like to say a massive shout out and a massive thank you to Tintac Nottingham for the plate. It's a 4D tinted plate. Um, and honestly, I love it. Thank you so much. Right, so it's day one of quarantine. Day one of quarantine. And what we're gonna do, what I've decided to do is black off my front grill. Right, so this is what I'm gonna be using to wrap it. Uh, plastic dip, because I don't know how to obviously wrap with film. Yes. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, these are, well, this is the grill. Um, so what I've done, um, I've, I've taken it off. Um, I've wiped it down um, with washing up liquid water, warm washing up liquid water um, and a microfiber cloth and then dried it off with some tissue. I've put the first layer on. Um, now it's time to do the second layer. What you're gonna first start by doing is making sure the pasta dip is obviously shaken up properly. Um, I've already shook it up. But it's been sitting down for about 15 minutes, so you want to make sure that obviously it's shaking up properly. And then what you want to do is you don't want to spray it with plaster dip, you don't want to spray it from side to side like that. In fact, no, I lied. That's how exactly how you want to spray it. Liar! It just comes out a bit weird. Nice, even not too much, because with plaster dip, what can happen is if you put too much on it will run off well like any kind of paint but this is more like a bit runnier when it's wet so you have to be very careful not to put too much on you zimmy so that's the second layer now as you can see obviously looking pretty good this will give you a matte finish uh, more of a matte finish but yes that's the second layer now we're going to leave it for about 15 minutes um, and then go for the third layer and then we're probably going to put about five layers on all together I've just put the final layer on um, of the plaster dip so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it for an hour now to completely dry um, and then I'm going to put it back on the car and show you what it looks like so come boom ski ooh, 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 check it. Uh. <laughs> so they're all done they're all dry so now it's time to put them on the car and see what they look like so that's now all done all back on all sorted and i think that looks pretty good it does it looks fucking great actually way better than the normal stock chrome one so much better as you can see it's a proper finish in that I need to clean this car you know Ninja